Hello everyone, Katina Ship here and today I'm going to share with you my first experience with a game jam. First game as a composer. I am very happy with the result and for having participated. While I was doing the games bug test, I was already playing as if I were a child again, playing for the first time. I couldn't stop smiling. But here in this video, I will not focus on this part of the experience, but on my process of creating the soundtrack and sound effects. How did the idea came for the game come together with Printer Not Found, the game's programmer, and how I thought and made the soundtrack. To start, I needed to choose a game jam. On Google, I saw that each I.O. has a schedule on online jams, so I went there, created my account and looked for one that I could join. There I found the mini jam 123 web. It would take 72 hours to create the game with the theme web, and the jam itself would start in 3 days. Perfect. I signed up and started looking for a group I could join. But since I don't know anyone in this area, I created a post saying that I'm a composer and that I was looking for a team. The minigen community are really great and receptive. For me, it was the best to start because even though I was starting in this area, I could communicate somehow. So I had some responses, which I'm very grateful for the contact, but it was with printer not found that the contact advanced faster. We started talking on Discord to come up with ideas and how we could create a web themed game, a few hours before the game jam started and without knowing yet what the limitation would be. In the beginning, Printer said that he thought of something like a metroidvania, a spider in a cave, that was gaining abilities with new mechanics over the game. I, my part, I was a little bit crazy, some dead jokes, and then I said, if we have spider webs inside a web page, it's a web inside a web with a creator that creates webs when we post the game in a web page. Surprisingly for me, Printer liked the idea and started thinking about how to implement that into the game aesthetic. We finished the discussions even before the gym started and due to the time differences between the two of us, I went to sleep. And when I woke up, the first thing I did was join the Discord to see the project updates. It was at that time that I found out about the limitation. There is no ground. Oh boy. We had already thought of a cave. And now we can't have a ground, but it's a cave. What can we do now? <laughs> All the idea that we had, it's about a spider in a cave. What can we do with there is no ground? I won't go into detail on how we got out of this, so as not to be a spoiler. After the video, you can play the game and see how we solved this limitation. Until then, I hadn't started to compose anything yet, but in our conversations, I proposed that the soundtrack could be made entirely in 8-bit. It's something that I'm studying right now and would like to try. If the game needed a sound with instruments, I would do it too, no problem. But Printer liked the idea, so we decided to do something along those lines. Excellent. So I took advantage of the first morning I had to compose the game's theme song or what would be the first song with the spider. I sat down at the computer and started writing in a blank document, still not use the film studio, but writing everything that came into my head about the keywords of our idea for the game. So I wrote, wrote, I picked up the guitar, I tried some things and started to compose. I did something that didn't work, I went back and redid it, and I found something that I really liked until after two hours of work and a blackout. My computer shut down. And I forgot to press Ctrl S. <sighs> Anyway, after a few minutes the power came back and I was able to do it all over again. Because of that I don't have footage of what I have done so far. What I'm going to show you now is about my fresh start. Again, I opened a black document and started. I created a table with three columns. The first was a word or idea that referenced the jam theme or an idea for the game. Then. I go to a sound that could represent that keyword and finally, if that were the case, a reference to this sound. So I started. Web. 
the web is sticky, one line. So it could be a melody with a glide or a glissando. Okay, the walk of a spider. It could be fast and short notes that represent the legs of the spider. Why not uh, an arpeggio? So I thought, the spider has eight eyes and eight legs. How could I add this to the song? Could it be the structure of the song? Why not? And so I went with the, all the ideas I had. All of this took me a few minutes, but I already had a way to go when I opened a new project in Film Studio. Okay, that's done. I grabbed my guitar and started trying out something for the spider legs with some chords to hear how it sounds. As I had thought of making the composition 5-4 time signature to give a feeling of uncertainty, I started to compose a kind of drum pattern for the composition, emphasizing tempos that would give the feeling of something that is not so clear where we are, something like that. That was the feeling I wanted the player to have at this point. Where am I? Why a spider? Why these colors? After a while of experimenting and modifying the composition, I already had a result that I like it, even though it's just from this first section. With the positive feedback from printer, I continued with the composition and managed to finalize everything I had thought of. I sent it back to him and went to sleep because it was quite late for me and I had to get up early. Day 2. Unfortunately, I couldn't advance much in the game due to other tasks I had at home. I was unable to return at night. When I returned, Printer had already uploaded a build for me to have a brief gameplay of how the game was getting. But it was, for me, half empty, I don't know, the spot was walking but no sound, jumping and no sound, and I realized that I need to do the sound effects. Printer was already alerting me and asking me to focus on this due to the time we still had for the game, so on day 2 I only focused on working on the sound effects. I could have downloaded from the internet, it would be easier and it's common in game gens as time is usually short. Since this was my first experience with the game, I decided to create everything using Fami Studio. So I started listing all the sound effects I needed to make and created them one by one. I started with the sound of shooting the web, then I started to think. What is the sound of shooting a web? When a spider shoots a web? Does it make a sound? I didn't really know where to start, but I decided to start with an idea. I'm going to reproduce this sound in some way that I can and try to understand its ADSR. That is, try to understand how the sound starts, which is attack, how it falls, the decay, how much time it sustains or not, the sustain, and how it ends, the release. These are the basics of any sound. All sounds have an attack, decay, sustain, and release. Anyone who works with synthesizers is more used to this. So I tried to reproduce the sound of web shooting with my mouth. Yeah, I couldn't do it any other way since it was late at night and I was the only one awake at home. After understanding the ADSR of what I was doing with my mouth, I tried to reproduce this somehow in Film Studio. So I did this, I did that, I pressed it here, this other button, and I got this result. It was... it was good. I'm decent. I can have this. It could improve a little bit more, of course, but it already gave the intention that I want. Then. I move it on to the next sound. And this was the sound effect that gave me the most work to do, because as far as I know, spiders don't make a sound when they walk around, right? Anyway, I thought of doing something that was fast since a spider has 8 legs. I tried a few things and turned out like this. be improved, so I went after reference. That was for sure the worst thing I did. I was alone and in my childhood I watched a film that called Arachnophobia. So far so good, but here I am with this image and this sound. 
<laughs> Every time I repeat the sound to have a reference, I look it back, think there was a spider, look at me, red to attack me. Ay, oh boy, I got up. I was away from the computer for a while. I went back and started all over again. <laughs> anyway, I had to make this sound happen. That's for sure. After this terror passed, I was able to perceive some details with the sound, even though it was from the spider's mouth and not from its legs. I noticed that there were high notes that appeared from time to time. Then I remembered that in Film Studio, in the noise channel, if I change the dub cycle of the instrument, I get some interesting high sounds. I went back to what I had done and tried it. It was perfect. In the end, the sound was kind of electronic, but since we wanted to give that vibe to the game, it was perfect. After that moment, the other sound effects were easier and without some terror. Always create a sound with the mouth, try to understand the ADSR of the sound and experiment in Film Studio. Without a doubt, this was a very fun moment for me. I never needed to create sound effects in previous work with theater and dance performances. It's usually all done live. It was a really cool and fun experience to do. A person in the middle of the night <laughs> makes sounds with their mouth and then try to reproduce this in a software. Not very cool, but it worked. I finished my second night of work with all the sound effects ready. Printer approved them and, as far as possible, implemented in the game. I finished the second night and went to sleep. I had to wake up early to do one more composition, a theme for the menu, and an idea for the end that I had. <sighs> All this for the third and final day and it had to finish a few hours before the deadline so that printer could implement the, all the sounds before publishing the game. <sighs> a lot of work. <laughs> so, let's go. In the morning, even before lunch, I composed a second song for the game. That was my deadline for this composition, 12 p.m. This song would be for an adrenaline moment of the game. Because of this, I thought of something faster and more frantic. With the tight time I had, only 8 hours, I went straight from the studio with my classical guitar. I was experimenting with the charts and how I would like the rhythm to be. Until then, I didn't want it to be something close to metal, something I more use it since it's the genre I listen to the most. Would be easier. But for the game, I didn't think it would be interesting, so I started going down in a different path, but one that kept the idea of being frantic and somehow bringing anxiety to the player. After some time, I had this. Yeah, as you can see, I forgot to check on OBS if the sound of the computer was recording too. <laughs> Sorry, beginner mistake. But I will comment on the result. From the first section that I made, after about one hour of work, it was really, really, really bad. I didn't like it. It didn't feel as frantic as I wanted. I wasn't have the energy I wanted to achieve. So I put the idea aside and started all over again, except the beginning that was already right to have a sound of something breaking, followed by the drums. Due to the time, I took the easiest path for me. I used the same charge structure that I had done, but now more metal. Fast and frantic, I chose a faster time and went to work. When I finished the first section, keeping the 8 bar idea as the previous song, I already had something much better than before. Much, much better. I moved on to the second section of the song, keeping the frantic feeling and trying to bring more anxiety to the player using only a chromatic line going higher and higher. After that, the composition repeats. I managed to finish the song and sent it to printer. That gave me a positive feedback. After lunch, I went back to work, but this time on the music for the menu. The idea was to bring a cave environment, even if it's not actually a cave, and have a sound of uncertainty, something like that. Similar to the first song in the game. 
To be faster, I went to another software since I would have to work with the synthesizer. I could probably get something similar with Thumb Studio, but as I am new to this software, I would need time to learn how to do what I wanted. Because of this, I went to another software that I use. The idea was to bring a bit of a cave to the games menu. I thought of putting some water drops falling with reverb and some stereo going left and right, trying to look some random. To bring a little of the feeling of uncertainty, I put a synthesizer and make a single charge, the first charge of the first composition. To give a little more movement, a dissonant note moves throughout the charge in the entire moment. Ok, ready. In 16 minutes, I managed to finish the menu theme. Excellent. And this is the result I got. I was still missing one composition to do. Since we had a specific idea for the ending, I tried something more ambient as well. So I used static sounds that go with a single chord as well, but now with no changes. Here the idea is that the player is in a place that naturally does not produce sound and that is electronic. I won't go into more detail to avoid spoilers, I leave it up to you to play the game and see what it is. Everything done and created, I took the compositions and did a brief mastering of them so that they didn't have a very big difference in volume, which could bother the player, and I sent the final version to printer. Once that was done, he implemented everything and with two hours left until the end of the game jam, we started doing a bug test. Here was the most rewarding moment I had. I was able to listen and play a game with my first soundtrack, it was unreal. I did the bug test smiling the whole time, I felt like a kid again, playing for my first time. I just have to thank Printer for this opportunity and experience. Without him and the mini jam, of course, I certainly couldn't have taken my first step in this area that I'm so interested in working on. Some errors were fixed, others we didn't have time, and with 5 minutes left for the jam deadline, the game was submitted. It was a great experience for me. Making an original soundtrack for a game was challenging and fun to do at the same time. I always tried to think from the player's perspective and what I would like the player to feel. All this, of course, in agreement with Printer and with the game's proposal. I'm very happy with the end result and what I managed to produce in this time. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is a video format I intend to do more often, both for my future soundtracks and for my compositions. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe and comment what you think of the game, link in the description. In addition to this video, I will post another one with all the compositions I made for the deadlines. So, see you in the next video.